fight. A good punch finds its target. Good three-punch combo. Looks like his training is paying off. It never can hurt you to be a balanced fighter like this. You just don't bring any glaring weakness to the ring. When your adversary can move like this guy, you have to try to cut the ring off. Get him on the ropes, unleash to the body. Listen, Bernard Hopkins isn't a one-punch knockout artist, but he's got solid power in both hands, and he's going to be there all night long looking to wear you down. Bernard with a strong uppercut to his opponent's face. His left hook looks to crush his opponent. Royce against the ropes, and as far as I can tell, it looks like he's unable to escape. Bernard brings it with a thunderous shot. He sticks from the outside and lands a jab. Nice one-two lands there. He's going to need to do a better job of avoiding those combos from Jones. Hopkins has to be considered one of the best all-around middleweights that has ever stepped onto the canvas. Roy Jones lit up by that great counter hook. There's a reason why Hopkins calls himself the executioner. There aren't many fighters out there that want anything to do with him. Roy can't feel well after getting clocked by those two punches. Those two punches did some damage. A powerful... Solid shot puts him on the floor. This is what the crowd came to see. more punishment he can take the rest of this round is going to be a real test for jones some good action in that last round let's go back and take another fighters get tired when they clinch more than they should miss a lot of shots or have their shots blocked all those things factored together are creating a real stamina problem for jones hopkins got to work on protecting himself after he throws or he's got to continue to get tagged with counter shots Roy's taking that shot well. You can't stay in the corner like that time after time. Hopkins showing us his counter-punching skills. Two solid shots crash into his opponent. He's having trouble staying off the ropes tonight. Counter hooks and shivers down his spine. Hard shot. Good execution on that two-punch combination by Bernard Hopkins. A few solid shots by Roy. Counter lands solidly. Wow, Joe! That hook put him down again. we can expect after being knocked down like that for Jones. You never want to throw just one punch at a time. The second you throw, you should have something else coming behind it. Two good punches find their home. Hopkins return fire. Oh, he takes a tremendous punch as he got crossed up by the feet and had no idea what was coming. Chill down his spine. Got to him. You can see he's in a daze. Let's get another peek. Here we go with round three. Bernard Hopkins is landing a big shot. You can see he really believes in his power. Jones Jr. has been repeatedly trapped in the corner. He might have to 
consider trying new training techniques after this fight. The crowd cheers. Jones crashes down as he gets clocked by a hard hook. Fumes. I don't think he's prepared to go the distance in this one. Roy Jones Jr. is taking too many punches and is unable to throw with authority. Roy Jones Jr. is looking tired. We're going to find out whether or not he's conditioned to go the distance. What a left upper. Incredible combination breaks his spirit and drops him to the floor. He's not going to get up quickly from that one. for the rest of this. Hopkins will not relent and just keeps winning rounds. Let's examine how he took that last one. Roy's left eye is beginning to swell. Hopkins been blocked by a hook he never saw coming. Oh, he really went for that face. And then he got tagged by an exquisitely tight punch coming behind him. Tremendous uppercut slams into his opponent, and he drops him yet again. going to have to gather himself if he wants to get back into the fight after that knockdown. Technically solid two-punch combination. What does he have left at this point? You can see he's pushing his punches now. Roy Jones Jr. is going to be in considerable pain if he keeps being hit with power shots like that. Hopkins looking to control the rhythm of the fight with effective countering. wonder how hard he trained for this fight. Conditioning is becoming a real issue for Hopkins. He's taking a beating here tonight, and he's looking for... 